Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to use simple wall to block hackers and malware on your windows 10 or windows 11 computer now we all know that windows does come with its own windows defender firewall but it's not easy to use and a lot of people uh, want a little bit more simplicity and a much more easier user interface than what they have right here so on windows defender firewall you have your inbound rules and your outbound rules and your connection security rules and your monitoring on here but we're going to go and take a look at simple wall now simple wall is something we can use in conjunction with windows defender firewall to make our network a little bit more secure and it will give us a yes or no do we want to allow this to go in and out of our network i'll show you how it all works in this video so let's take a look at using simple wall alongside windows defender so what is uh, Simple Wall? Simple Wall is a free tool to configure your Windows filtering platform, which is your WFP for short, which can configure your network activity on your computer. Simple Wall is not a control UI over the Windows Firewall, and it does not interact in any level with Windows Firewall. So I'll leave a link for Simple Wall down in the video description. You can download the zip file here with all of the files that you'll need to set up simple wall so as you can see here it does give you a lot more information on this site and i'll show you some basic uh setup and how to use simple wall in this video so we're going to extract it into a folder and then we're going to open it up here it's in a folder choose 64 bit here if you're on windows 11 if you're on a 32 bit system you can choose a 32 bit and now we can click on the simple wall here and this will say run we can now run this and you'll get the user account control and now simple wall will open up it says there's an update available for this so we're going to download and install it by clicking yes and this will get this installed on our system so let's go ahead and close this and make this a larger size so we can see what we're doing here so looking at simple wall here it does look a bit complicated but it is straightforward it is for more advanced users uh, but this is where apps with internet access you can see simple wall does have it there is enable filters we haven't enabled those yet once we enable the filters we can then start to configure our simple wall to control what goes in and out of our computer on our local network here so let's go ahead and take a look so these are apps without internet access so far and we haven't enabled the filters so this won't sort of matter as of yet but you'll see what happens when we enable the filters inside apps we have apps and now we have services these are all the services we've got a uh, uwp apps right here and we can also can control uh, the block list now the block list comes pre-installed here and this is to block all of the windows telemetry and things like that as well you can see it's got the protocol and direction here as well and these for outbound so that's how they're preset now of course you can add more in there if you want to but they are already preset and pre-configured for you you've got your system rules your user rules you've got your connections on here and we also have our packets log on here so that's what we've got along that little uh, tabs there just above that we do have enable filters and then we have this one here which is create a rule and then we have enable packets notification then we have enable packets login of a file and then we've got packets login interface refresh and then your settings here which gives you more control over some of the settings if you want to always have it on top you can check mark here and you can load on system startup and a bunch of other settings in here it will give you some information about the interface of simple wall right here uh, if you want to toggle these on that are not recommended you will get a pop-up telling you it's not recommended this is the interface highlighting will tell you exactly what the colors mean and what they represent you've got your rules area here and we also have our block list on here as well and this will give you the microsoft spine and telemetry windows updates and also uh, microsoft applications like bing skype uh, live outlook and so on there's the windows uh, spy blocker it will take you to the page and it will show you exactly what it is it's all open source and you can see exactly what's going on with simple wall so let's go ahead and enable the filters here and you can see this will deny network access to apps 
as defined by the current configuration. Do you want to continue? Permanent rules. Rules are working until you disable it manually. So I'm going to leave the uh, firewall, Windows to firewall uh, enabled. It, so we're not going to disable that. But if you do want to disable it, you can leave that check marked right there and it will disable Windows firewall. Um, so we're going to leave that disabled for now. But you can leave Windows firewall enabled as well, which I would recommend. But what we're going to do here is just for this video, we're going to disable it. Now you can see Edge is trying to connect out. And now we have a block and allow button here. And we also have this little drop down to apply a DNS protocol, apply a HTTP and so on. And we can also create rules for this particular process or application that is trying to connect out here. So we'll leave that for now. But right here, it will give you the block and allow tab. So let's allow Edge to go out. Now it's given us other applications and services and, and things like that that want to come in and out of our computer. Now it's important that you don't just go and start blocking things because otherwise you're going to end up uh, breaking your system. Like for instance, if you block Windows Update feature here, it's not going to update Windows. If you start blocking Edge, it's going to block Edge and you're not going to be able to access the internet from it. I'll show you all that in a second, but let me just show you here. We can hover over here and you can allow what you want to go through. Now, if this was a bit of malware trying to activate itself on the system, you could then block it and say, no, I don't want to allow that to run. And it's then going to block it from calling home and things like that. So, and you can then deal with the issue. Also, if you have random stuff trying to access the computer, you can also block that as well and deal with that as and when you see fit. So here we have the network connection, which was blocked. And that's because we are now running our filters and it will block everything on the computer until you start allowing it. This is going to take a bit of time to get used to. But once you've got it all set, you shouldn't see this box popping up unless you're installing a program or you're doing something else on a computer that requires network activity that is new to this uh, simple wall. And then you would need to decide whether to allow or block it. So let's go ahead and install Firefox here. And you'll see automatically it will pop up in a second when I say yes to the user account control. Simple wall will pop up and it will say uh, network connection was blocked. What do you want to do? Now, if this was malware or this was a program that you're trying to install, it's not going to be able to install here because it can't because we've blocked it. It's already blocked. So we need to tell it whether we want to allow this to go onto the system. You can see the setup file here. We know it's Mozilla Firefox. So we're going to allow this. And then as soon as we allow it, it's then going to start to install. It's that simple. So here we have another Microsoft uh, antivirus uh, tool that they want to uh, have going in and out of the computer. So we're going to allow that to go in. And now we've got allow firefox.exe. So you do need to know exactly what you're doing on the computer. It's a little bit more for advanced users. So for the beginner user, I would say steer clear a simple wall. This is more for advanced users. Now you can set a process up here or an application to have a timer on it. So it will disable after a certain time. You've got rules here that you can set up, which is a little bit more in depth and more for the advanced users. But you can use this in a more simpler way, like I'll show you in this video. So up here, we've got some settings here. You've got your profile type, your rules and some other settings here. You also have your block list up here as well. And this will tell you exactly what I just showed you a little bit earlier on. So let me just quickly show you this here. Microsoft Spine and Telemetry, it will say disable, allow or blocked. It says recommended blocked. Windows updates, it says disabled recommended. If you block them, you're not going to be able to get Windows updates. So be very, very careful what you block and allow on your system. And this will give you a little bit more control over what's going in and out of your computer. So let's go ahead and we'll put some of this stuff to the test so you can see what I mean. So for instance, we're gonna disable Microsoft Edge here. So now Edge is on the apps without internet access. We're gonna block it and we're gonna block all of the stuff to do with Edge. So if you try to open up Edge, because we're in apps without internet access, it's not going to work. You're not gonna be able to gain access and go out. We can also move this down to disabled and you can see now we've got the Microsoft Edge application in the apps 
without internet access and you can see straight away it's not now working because we don't have internet access for that particular program because we've got it in the apps without internet access so if you try to search on here it's not going to work and it's because it's blocked and that's basically what a firewall is doing you're giving it the allow or block rule and we've set it up as a block rule so let's go ahead and take a look here now so we can reverse this if we want to and i'm just going to quickly reverse this and now as soon as we go back onto the browser and we've allowed it to go through it's now working as you can see right here so we've now got internet access on that browser again these colors will tell you exactly what they represent it will tell you right here in the list whether it's a signed app whether it's a system app and whether it's a disable removal and so on so now we have this section right here our connections are right here it will give you all the information about it you can also block them from here you can also set a rule and you can also close the connection like so so if you've got some sort of rogue uh, file on the system that is calling home you can actually block it or you can even uh, close that connection and then you can deal with that if it was a piece of adware or malware or something like that you can do and also you can set up rules for this where you can block and you can block outbound or you can block uh, any which will be in or out if you wanted to and you can choose your apps right here very simple and easy to do and how to set it up if you know what you're doing if you're not into firewalls and you don't know what you're doing then it's probably best you leave it alone because it is going to nag you for a little while asking you do you want to allow this to go in or out of the computer you can disable notifications and you can also apply DNS protocols for this app and so on and so on. And there's a bunch of other stuff there. So you can create a new rule here as well. And you can see the direction. We can have this as block or allow. And we can have direction outbound. Or we can have it as inbound. Or we can have it as any, which means in or out, basically. And you can set your protocols right here. And you can also set your comments and your rules and your app that you're trying to do it to. So that's simple. It's pretty straightforward. And it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section here, which I want to quickly show you. And again, what we can do here is we can do this with services, UWP apps, uh, block lists and so on and uh, system rules. Now, of course, we've now got a nag box popping up saying, do you want to allow uh, the Microsoft Store to run? And if I block this, it's not going to run, but we can allow this and it will then um, allow the, the Microsoft Store to work. I can set a timer on it. Maybe I want to download a program and I only want to download this and it's going to take an hour. I can allow the Microsoft Store to go out and in onto my computer for an hour and then it will basically close it afterwards if you wanted to do that. It's getting a bit more in depth, but you can do that with this software. So now we've got uh, the Microsoft Store working on here. If you don't need it, you can block it. Now you'll notice that I've got the widgets uh, .exe blocked inside the simple wall settings here so if i open up the widgets area here it's not going to load because we've blocked it it can't go out of the computer to connect uh, to microsoft or microsoft servers so it's not going to be able to work you'll just get a blank screen like this so let's go back into the application and you'll see uh, widgets.exe you can see it's not working so let's go to widgets.exe down here and it's in the apps uh, without internet access section right down here where I've blocked it so let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll right click on this one right here and when I right click on this and disable selection it's going to remove it and as soon as I open it it's going to ask for a connection and now it works as you can see right here so it works in a simple case of allow and block and and it's that simple and if you want to reset all of the settings back to default and you want to remove it all you need to do is disable all the filters and uninstall simple wall and you're pretty much done so let me quickly just show you how we're going to do that before i end the video so you know how to remove this what you can do is put this into a virtual machine and have a play around with it until you get used to it and understand it and then you can maybe put it on your main system if you want to reset and disable all the filters just hit disable filters and click disable filters here and enable windows firewall again and there we go this does work in conjunction with Windows uh, Defender Firewall, you don't need to disable Windows Firewall like I did in this video. You can run it in conjunction with it. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you want to see more in-depth stuff on this, let me know in the comment section down below. 
and I shall catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.